Are you planning a building project soon? Whether it's a home, garage, shop, or commercial building, how much will your project cost? When you factor in material cost, labor expense, and job site waste, and then add in the benefit of a lifetime of energy savings, you may find that building with intercept SIPs may be your most affordable building option. So how does building with SIPs compare with traditional stick building? Let's ask intercept SIP expert John Goals. Now this is a question we get all the time and I wish there was an easy one word answer but it's complicated and partially it's complicated because what we want to do is make sure we're comparing apples to apples. Now if you're going to compare building a, a, a house that was built down to code in 2006, uh, that was a very inexpensive house and that's going to be less expensive to build than what we're talking about here. But we're not talking about that building that type of a house. We're talking about building a high efficiency, high energy uh, saving home. And when we start talking about that, a house that's built to today's standard with today's technology and today's codes, the price is very comparable because everything that we do in the factory, every step that we take care of in our ready to assemble package is a step that doesn't have to be done on the job site. So when we put the connecting posts in place, when we put the wiring chases in, when we're, put, when we're sending the uh, top and cap plates and the, the window box, all of that being taken care of for you, now you're not paying a laborer to do that on the job site. The other reason it's very comparable is by today's code, we need continuous insulation. This eliminates the need to add continuous insulation. This meets the code and meets the standard. And so we've eliminated that step. That's not only adding the insulation, but framing out the windows and furring it out for siding and all the things that come up, the extras that go along with that continuous insulation. So the easy answer is it can be very comparable or it can be a five to 7% premium, depending on, on what we do. Often I'm asked, what does a house cost to build per square foot? And my pet answer is, well, how much does it cost to buy three bags of groceries? It really depends on what you put in them, right? If you fill them full of toilet paper, if you can find it, it's gonna be inexpensive. If you fill them full of steak, that's gonna be a more expensive three bags of groceries, right? Well, this is a premium, this is a, a higher end product, but at the same time, it's, it's accomplishing a purpose. And so, th so that the final answer is it can be very comparable. It depends on what you put into the structure and it's something that will pay for itself over and over again through the life of the home.